There were a number of remarkable women who stood up during the Second World War to the tyranny of the German army and the Nazis. A number of these ultimately faced the biggest punishment as they were led to their executions across occupied lands and countries. Even within Germany, a number of women were accused of being against Hitler's regime and with this they lost their heads on the guillotine inside of a prison execution chamber. But at the age of 17, a young teenage girl was led by German soldiers to a makeshift gallows on a tree in a village, and she had been found guilty of firing a weapon towards the Germans. Lepa Radic was a remarkable young girl, whose story deserves to be more well known, and she was brutally executed at the hands of the Germans. Lepa Radic was born on the 19th of December 1925, to a Bosnian Serb family, and she was born in the village of Gaznia, near Gradiska. She had a relatively normal early life, and she attended the local school. She was raised in a family that debated communism a lot, and her uncle influenced her ideas and beliefs, but she was a very clever and intelligent girl who was advanced compared to her friends. She began to read into communism at a young age, and at the age of 15, she joined the League of Communist Youth of Yugoslavia, and following this, she then became a member of the Communist Party of Yugoslavia. However, at this time in 1941, the Second World War had been raging for two years, and in that time, Hitler had captured Poland, and also he had rampaged across France. But then he would look east towards the Soviet Union to expand his empire, He had signed an agreement in which he promised a ceasefire with the Soviets, but Hitler went back on his word, as he wanted to capture more land for the Germans, and he believed they should live in these lands to the east. He then launched his invasion of the Soviet Union, which was the biggest military invasion and operation in history. But inside of Yugoslavia, Hitler had a problem. He wanted to take this country, but the Kingdom of Yugoslavia attempted to remain neutral as the Germans sought to build up their army for war. They collaborated with the British and shared intelligence, but then they signed an agreement with the Axis powers and this allied them with the Nazis. Yugoslavia were caught in a dangerous position. But then there was a coup in the military and King Peter II was instilled as the head of the government, and he was only 17. But the country became more nationalistic, and Hitler said that the new government was backed by the British and was an enemy of Nazi Germany, and then the Germans sought to invade Yugoslavia, and they did. But whilst this occurred, Lepa Radic was just a young teenage girl, and the Germans invaded and caused chaos in two bloody weeks. In just 11 days, the Yugoslavs surrendered, and they then established Croatia and Bosnia as the independent state of Croatia, and Lepa's hometown was part of this. The Nazis then allowed a horrific group of parliamentary officers, known as the Ustache, to control the nation and then create a terrifying regime which entered around, instilling great fear, and executions were carried out on a daily basis. It was a very scary time inside of Croatia, and they killed one third of all Serbs, wanted to deport another third, and wanted the final third to become Catholics. They murdered in public, and it was incredibly tragic. With this, many people joined the resistance, and they then fled to the mountainous regions that the Germans were not familiar with, and they formed resistance groups. Lepa Radic hated living under the regime, and she joined the resistance group known as the Partisans. She, along with her uncles and father, joined, and the Partisans allowed girls to join the war effort to help, and many women became soldiers who had a significant impact on battles, Lepa and her sister Dora became soldiers, and they wanted to get rid of the Germans and the evil regime once and for all, and they lived in camps with other partisans. But this was, of course, very dangerous, as the Germans dealt with any resistors in the same way, usually with execution. She joined the 7th Partisan Company, and she worked as a nurse and would patch wounded soldiers up during battles, and she would also help remove these injured men from the battlefield but she wanted to do the same as many young teenage boys did. She wanted to take up arms and fight. 
She was seen by the partisans as a good communicator, and Lepa then was used to try and recruit other young teenagers into the partisans, and she told them that they could make a big difference. She also led a number of other youngsters and gathered supplies such as grain for the forces, and they would do this under the noses of the German army, working undercover, close to where they were sleeping. However, she did not get caught, and she managed to escape any suspicion. Her work allowed the partisans to get food and supplies, and to keep their resistance activities going. However, if caught by the enemy, the partisans were usually treated by being tortured horrifically, and then executed in front of the crowds to send a message to local people not to join them. The Germans dealt with their enemies in terrible ways, but Lepa Radic was more determined to continue her fight, and she became more involved in the military side of the group. In January of 1943, the Germans wanted to smash the partisans, and they launched a terrible campaign with the local government to arrest and execute thousands, but battles between the groups would continue. In one battle at Neretvar, Lepa was in the battle and she was transporting injured and wounded men from the fighting to a hospital and also a shelter. She helped to coordinate evacuations, and she rescued as many people as she physically could. She knew that anyone who was left behind would be tortured and would be executed, so she risked her life a number of times to get the last soldiers. She evacuated dozens back to the hospital where they were made to feel better, but she continued to live dangerously. Battle after battle, she evacuated and transported partisans away from danger after they were wounded. But in the February of 1943, she was involved in battles with an elite SS Mountain Division, who were very well trained. The fighting was ferocious and brutal, and Leporadic was captured by these Germans. She tried to save 100 women and children who had been caught up in the area, and she was captured while she was helping evacuate, but she refused to give herself up without a fight. With the enemy approaching, she picked up her weapon, facing the elite German soldiers, and she took hold of her gun and then fired it at the enemy, firing every bullet she had at the enemy until she was out of ammunition. She was then jumped upon by the Germans, and they captured her. Leporadic was tortured and was brutalised by the enemy for information. However, she did not give any information about the partisans, and because of this, she was marked as someone who was needed to be executed. The Germans would do this to anyone who did not give them information, as they believed that they had no use for them. With this, the young teenage girl was sentenced to death. Leporadic was brought into the settlement of Bosenska Krupa on the 8th of February 1943. She was then collected from her prison by German guards, who led her into the town square for her execution. There was no gallows that was made, just a tree with a rope and a noose tied around it, and a big large box which was under the noose. She was forced onto the box and was then asked once more to give over information. She continued to refuse as the noose was tied around her neck. But then she issued a war cry to the witnesses. She shouted, Long live the Communist Party and partisans. Fight people for your freedom. Do not surrender to the evildoers. I will be killed, but there are those who will avenge me. She was given one final time to live and to give over information, but she stayed defiant until the end, and with this said, I am not a traitor of my people. Those whom you are asking about will reveal themselves when they have succeeded in wiping out all you evildoers to the last man. Following this, the executioner then, with the noose around her neck, kicked the box from underneath her, and she slowly strangled to death. At just the age of 17, Leporadic was executed in front of a large crowd by grown German men who deemed her as a dangerous threat to their occupation. The Germans considered her as a bandit who was very defiant, and she was integral to the resistance and the partisans, she was an intelligent girl who believed the Nazis were the enemy, and she saved many people throughout the war with her actions getting injured people to the safety of hospitals. 
but her crime in the eyes of the Germans was that she picked up her weapon and fired at them. But today she is considered a heroic figure who stood up to evil and tyranny. Thank you for watching and to support, please subscribe to Her Remarkable History. Thank you.